வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் கான்வர்சேஷன் ஆஃப்டர் லாங் டைம் வி ஹாவ் திஸ் ஷோ வி குன் ஹாவ் அ சேட் டுடே வித் டாக்டர் சிவராமன் ஹீஸ் அ சித்த மெடிசின் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் டேமல் மெடிசின் ஸோ ஹீஸ் இன் லண்டன் ஸோ வி குன் ஹாவ் அ ஸ்மால் சேட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹீஸ் பர்ஸ்வீட்ஸ் அண்ட் வாய் ஹீஸ் ஹியர் இன் லண்டன் அண்ட் லெட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த ஷோ டாக்டர் சிவராமன் வணக்கம் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு த ஷோ yeah welcome so how how are you uh, feeling london uh, Being i think good. it's your second time right <laughs> yeah, yeah i think it's the fourth time okay so earlier i came here for some research work in uh, uh, 2002 3 at the time i was with some food company doing some low glycemic food research uh, during the time i was here uh, to understand so this was how long ago this was almost 15 16 years before la but 2 3 years before i came here for another one interview and one public workshop oh that's great <laughs> so so london is not new to you yeah. and uh, so how how but this is the first time i'm experiencing the chill weather <laughs> <laughs> right so it's, uh, i mean to be honest uh, this time the winter is not that bad for us oh, so <laughs> consequence of climate change <laughs> so uh, so what's your purpose of visit this time yeah mm, the british tamil chamber of commerce uh, this time they are uh, celebrating the uh, um heritage festival uh to uh, to tell about the uh, the cultural nuances of tamils to the younger generation and as well as uh, why tamil celebrating the pongal festival farm festival farmer festival and how it is amalgamated with the tamil culture uh, so they are celebrating this time in a bigger way so i am invited for the lecture to deliver one special address in the function this is going to happen tomorrow 18th evening so with a lot of cultural activities along with that my lecture is also there in that i would like to deliver something about the heritage tamil heritage along with my expertise on on how our tamil traditional food is a functional food for people this can how it can it, it was helpful to the, our ancestors to lead a healthy lifestyle uh, so these things probably for this this is yeah. the purpose of visit yeah it is interesting because uh, we were doing tamil um, cultural events and pongal festivals for a long time in the uk and um, and i could see that over time the trend is actually changing because what it is is that most of the time when it says pongal uh, it's about just music it's about art form mainly art form and expression with the cultural dress and uh, and so on but now i could see that there is a kind of uh, um, a kind of a seeking yep. to understand the depth of tamil culture in the sense uh, it's just beyond culture it's about a way of life yep. which is like food medicine uh, and and that search that kind of seeking uh, it bringing all sort of new things to the table now what is interesting for the uk audience is that uh, not many would know that the roots of siddha medicine it comes from tamil nadu or around tamil nadu yeah. or like in it has a quite i mean if you look for the roots it actually yeah. goes either way but mostly practiced and sid siddarhal they call it is in it it yeah, comes yeah. from there so i think the seeking is quite heavy within our tamil uh, youth yeah. so um for for the the younger generation especially um uh, allopathy doctors here quite a lot of tamil yep. youngsters yep. Uh, what is your kind of um, kind of what's the message you want to communicate to them basically as as a siddha vision i would like to strongly emphasize siddha medicine is not a merely diagnosing the disease and giving prescriptions with medicine and all siddha medicine is an outshoot of uh, tamil way of life it's it's a simple part is only only a small portion i can say it is a medicine the larger portion is actually to lead a healthy life how one should live with some discipline and food protecting the environment and caring about the diet and how they can shape their mind what is internal happiness all these things has been uh, very systematically framed from the sangam literature period onwards so uh, the name siddha 
came little later only but earlier there are several names one name is called arivan arivan marutvam is in from the tolgapiyam period onward that language of arivan was there earlier there are a lot of uh, group of people who practices siddha medicine uh, tamil medicine and uh, parallel to their social reformation so uh, like uh, how christianity uh, developed around the globe through uh, educating people and uh, through their uh, medical care uh, like that some social reformer on those days they took siddha medicine as one of the tool to uh, uh, preach their philosophical understanding to the common people so siddha medicine is not just like a, you can't see as a, just like a medicine there are a lot and lot of things in me- medicine part itself but beyond that also uh, many things in the food culture lifestyle all these things so i strongly feel uh, people like us institutionally qualified siddha medicine people we strongly emphasize the common man about the need of the tamil lifestyle understanding the life is tamil lifestyle and exploring the unexploited traits of uh, tamil culture and heritage how it is connect with the uh, human mind and how it is connect with the environment how is connect with the food all this very vital but uh, the challenge we have to tell in the uh, scientific way modern scientific way we have to explain on those days uh, uh, when a senior or elder people preach one particular thing which is good for the life they uh, simply follow that mm-hmm. without questioning yeah, but these days they every everything will be uh, under yeah. scrutiny <laughs> now nowadays everything in analyticalized or everybody is started google it yeah. whatever word you tell they will google it whether it is rational or whether it is any science behind the uh, every notion they are asking so this is the uh, biggest challenge for us so that, that the idea you are saying there is not only that it comes from the tamil tra- tradition and the way of life but you you are backing it up with science yep yep definitely all the phrases all the phrases if you say everything has on uh, some meaning in that i could say on tamil we say norunga thinral noor vaidu it it's a very common phenomena people will tell us that uh, eat slow uh, chew well and uh, everything you usually tell but when you analytically thinking when you chew well and when you bite the things very well and when you slowly eat a lot of salivary enzymes will uh, amalgamated with the food stuffs and the digestion actually starts from the salivary enzyme onwards if a person utilize the all the parameters gadgets of salivary saliva then the digestibility will good and the absorption will be yeah. good glycemic load will be good and the index will be low so many things will start so every small small phrases has its own scientific uh, explanation and meaning uh, when you were saying this uh, the thing that i remembered is that recently i saw uh, uh, the actor madhavan he did a wellness speech yep. and on that he was saying that he went all the way to europe for a wellness program which mm-hmm. he paid a lot yeah. and basically they said we have taken all of these from your yeah. medicine and then you're coming all the way here paying this much of medicine yeah. <laughs> and in in that is uh, i think the topic uh, is if i could remember is about uh, chew your water and drink your food or something like yeah. that <laughs> can you remember that yeah the same thing same thing <laughs> see there are many many phrases in tamil medicine siddha medicine there is one theran noi anuga vidhi it's actually theran is the name of a siddha and he had given some hygiene principle particularly uh, we can compare with the social and preventive medicine of modern science he had given many phrases in that one uh, phrase would have neer karuki neyuruki mor periki unbardam perurekil pome pini the person who drink water warm water and uh, drink as a buttermilk not as a curd and uh, take ghee that clarified butter in a hot form in a liquid form not as in a colloidal form if you take like that then his uh, health index will improve the wellness will be preserved that is one small phrase it has been written definitely more than 1000 1200 years before but if you look into the with the scientific western analytical eyes all these three parameters that water if it is boiled that will be good for the and we, we can remove the pathogens inside after that if you take curd uh, the buttermilk is the better media to absorb yeah. by absorb the probiotics by the body and if you uh, dilute that uh, clarified butter by heating then like that will also will help a lot the saturated fat will be little low 
so with that there are many many things they are given one phrase they have man paravu kilangugalil karunai enri pirappu siyam in that the all that if you take all the tubers the yam the karunai kilangu the yam tree i think it's a small yam i think the karunai kilangu is having only more fiber so they say that's, except that's, that's the normal the 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 karunai uh, the pedi karunai that, they you uh, may tamil family they you make yeah. curry yeah. uh, masiel they make yeah, mara masiel right, yeah. karunai masiel it's quite masiel. tasty as well very very good tasty and it is which is very good for conservation good for hemorrhoids good for fistula many studies has been done with the pedi karunai that the biggest the elephant yam is not that it's the small yam <laughs> small yam yeah. yeah that is actually good like that uh, <clears throat> there are many social and preventive medical principle has been done several varieties of traditional rice varieties several traditional millets on those days they are propagated for each and every diseases uh, we, we were uh, on those days we have nearly 160000 rice grains were there in india yeah so that the 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 whole idea is um uh the integrated yeah. because when when you say that you want the um you know they to understand the 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 basics of it yeah. and and also uh, especially the way of life yeah. how we were living so uh, but then there is a question about in in most of the complementary i mean in the west we say it's a complementary <laughs> medicine so they are not interventions uh, especially as a kind of an accident emergency or things yep. but I, i i think you will agree with that is that yeah right? i partly agree with that definitely one important point i would always emphasize modern medicine is not a sin or modern medicine is not a wrong idea that has saved lot of life in our uh, global population if you take in 1900 uh the people were around the globe the average age span were only 45 40 45 yeah. in india if it is only 37 but now it is nearly uh, we it make doubled in india it's now the average age span is 70 70 71 many of the uh developed nations <coughs> touch 80 85 the average life span that is because of the modern science and modern understanding we have to agree with that uh we should not uh, prejudiced with uh, all the traditional experiences are good and all the modern science and technology is not bad there is a wrong perception we need to explore the traditional science with the scientific modern analysis we need to reinvestigate we need to uh, research on traditional medicine how we can adopt the best of uh, traditional indian system siddha system of medicine in the modern uh, challenges if you say currently the, our biggest health challenge is non communicable lifestyle diseases on those days the biggest challenge was infectious diseases mm-hmm. infectious diseases were well controlled by the vaccinations and modern antibiotics and all the modern medicine definitely they saved a lot but the non communicable diseases like diabetes hypertension but in fact that's the biggest challenge that is the now, biggest challenge because uh, the the non communicable dis- d- diseases like it it highly depends on food patterns and lifestyle yeah that's why we say in lifestyle diseases only through medicine or only through vaccination you can't uh, control or you can't uh, treat the ailment we need to amalgamate all the things on the so that you agree that it has to be a complementary or kind of an yeah. integrated approach sometimes i i could uh, very uh, uh i would like to say in all condition traditional medicine is not complementary sometime traditional medicine is the mainstream and modern medicine can be a complementary so you use the term integrated yeah it should be integrated yeah. integrated means now there is uh, i mean there's a large uh, population of uh, tamils living uh, abroad especially like all around the world like in the western countries where their lifestyle is quite different to where you come from especially yep, 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 yep. and um, so the most of your uh, lectures and and uh, you know your ideas of food habits is it practicable in in the cold uh, kind of terrains yeah. and also is it is it is it because is it quite the siddha or the way of life is written or it's been preserved for a particular terrain yeah, yeah. or is it universal no i won't say it's universal there are some challenges we need to take the best how it can be adopted in a uh, chilled countries like uh, western northern hemisphere of the globe so you one important thing food as well as medicine and lifestyle it should be they are all uh, where we are living that centric only we cannot globalize things we cannot uh, give idli for a uh, people who are living in siberia or we cannot uh, take a, 
சைபீரியன் ஃபுட் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் லிவிங் இன் மதுரை ஆர் திருச்சி ஸோ டெஃபினெட்லி வேர் வி ஆர் லிவிங் வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஜியோகிராஃபிக்கல் கிளைமேட்டிக் வேரியேஷன் இஸ் தேர் அக்கார்டிங் டு தட் ஓன்லி யுவர் ஃபுட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஷுட் பி சேம் திங் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் ஆல்சோ இன் இண்டியா வி சே எவ் வீக்லி ட்வைஸ் யூ ஷுட் டேக் ஆயில் பாத் தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் அண்ட் எவ்ரி டே யூ ஷுட் டேக் ஹெட் பாத் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மேஜர் ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் டிசிப்ளின் அப்ரீஷ்ட் பை தி சிதர்ஸ் பட் வெதர் இட் இஸ் அப்ளிகபிள் in during the december and january of uh, in uk or you say it's the biggest question is there no yeah, but i think mostly people are having baths here bath <laughs> is okay it's it's bath yeah only hard bath and bathing itself the main important thing is bath means head bath you have to take water from the head but here bath is not like uh, not only here even in chennai we say people are taking bath from the neck and just washing the hair with the shampoos that doesn't means bathing bathing is actually reducing the pitta from the uh, in the night hours our body will be dominated by the pitta because of the the moon's influence will be there mm-hmm. in the day comes when the day comes the sun will come around 6 o'clock at the time the body constitution should change for the transition phase only the every person take bath in the morning but is is it true in this modern like world where we we just kind of we live in a 24/7 lifestyle without uh, without even seeing darkness that is actually a wrong uh, phenomenon i could always say that 24 by 7 365 days is not a uh, right healthy life actually i could say only a human uh, if we take uh, crores and millions of uh, creatures in the world only human after inventing the light and all the things we are trying to explore with 24 by 7 but uh, the the real if really if you want to lead a healthy lifestyle from sunrise to sunset only you have to work physically and you have to give mental and physical rest after the sunset that is the fundamental thing even if you say if you see the 2016 nobel prize mm-hmm. that is actually how the immune system is connected with the circadian rhythm of the body and how the circadian rhythm is connected with the many uh, health metabolic uh, activities you can simply say melatonin will secrete only during the night sleep only if you avoid the night sleep definitely you will lose melatonin by many, supplementing many... by supplementing melatonin it won't uh, uh, patch the natural secretion of the melatonin is, is it is it a, one of the reasons that you think that uh, there is a high level of kind of bipolar uh, bipolar kind yes, of diseases because yeah. i could see that it's quite common in these kind of yeah, yeah. the most of the not only bipolar a common depression a uh, many psychiatric ailment is mainly because of the people who are not getting good sleep and also now, particularly youngsters those who are all uh, either with any one of e gadgets either laptop or uh, phones they always uh, holding it in the night hours that is definitely one of the main reason people even mental attitude irritability even if you see sometimes the small children is having lot of uh, irritable uh, symptoms and they couldn't be able to uh, calm down enjoy their childhoodness that is all because of that uh, uh, highest influence of e gadgets in the night hours so let's come back to the the whole purpose of your visit and what you are trying to do here so the the so can you say uh, with authority that mostly like certain medicine is associated with certain way of life yep. so like yunani we know it's kind of it's more from the arabic okay. or islamic uh, society so likewise if you take ayurveda mostly it's kind of kerala it's own sito like you know it's been used in some parts of the world but can you say with authority that siddha vaidyam or mm. siddha marathuam that you rightly call in the tamil way yep. of the name uh, is it associated with the tamil uh, yeah. way of life see one thing now that, the reason yeah. i'm asking is because the the tamil chamber of commerce when they organized this event the launch event for the tamil heritage month uh, in 2020 uh, 2020 uh, it's interesting that all the other uh, kind of art forms are there we practice mm-hmm. but we are not aspiring much to their, our long lost um, the medicine, medical medical system. medical system side mm-hmm. and the way of life in food so that's i think one of the reasons that you have been selected invited. or been invited <laughs> for this talk Uh, it's sure. just to seek back into yep. the tradition yep yep so main thing uh, what i would like to tell you say uh, this traditional systems of uh, medicine in indian system of medicine like ayurveda siddha and yunani all at uh, basically they have uh, fundamentally they are all from the same root only 
after that after the understanding of the universe uh, on those days the cultural practices took it into a uh, different different phenomena even we can say all the traditional systems of the world if you take chinese system of medicine compost system so in this is you are going all the way back to hindu civilization yeah, or even before that that the indus civilization during that period itself the understanding about the universe why sun is there why water is going like this why the fire is these question was the basic uh, uh, the exploration by the ancestors why the nature is ruling mm-hmm. so they started connecting the nature with our human body so like that only all the system uh, established in that case tamil has certain antiquity particularly if you uh, almost nowadays they are telling that uh, around 3000 4000 years of documentation practices were uh, started on those days itself uh, the tamil civilization has some evidences about healthy living uh, their commerce for commercial practices their lifestyle practices their education on those times even if you see the recent exploration at uh, kiladi and uh, that has been clearly documented that definitely there is uh, the in between kiladi they are telling now this uh, 6th century bc to 4th century bc they are getting the carbon dating on and all so with that uh, evidences we can definitely say on those days our ancestors having a good understanding about healthy living understanding about the lifestyle and uh, the, the practices how we have to lead the life to have a socially mentally and physically healthy uh, how we can lead a healthy life those understanding were there and uh, in the historically if you see every uh, portion of the every 100 years every 200 years uh, which dynasty rules us which kind of uh, war happened which kind of uh, uh, agriculture practices on those days influence with that there are certain changes happened in the tamil system of medicine if you say the siddha system of medicine there are the the asivaga philosophy was there. there were sankhya philosophy were there the jain philosophy there buddha philosophy is there and saiva siddhanta philosophy laterly mm-hmm. saiva siddhanta philosophy were there so all the cultural philosophies are synergetically integrated in the tamil siddha system of medicine so now the uh, need of the hour actually how we can exploit the principles and exploit the uh, good functional practices for the next generation Especially that is the, what our forefathers was practicing practicing on those days there's a good point that you raised that um that you know if you go back to the roots it's yeah. it it but when you come you know that over at least 3000 years it was practiced yeah, yeah. in, in with the time and then we should protect it because first we have to protect then we have to follow and yeah. then we have to do research all these is essential because that, that, i think that's what brings us here um because you will be looking at options so so while you are here uh will you be look considering expanding your kind of uh, medical uh, yeah. uh, because as, as you successfully running arokya hospitals in, in uh, india in chennai yeah we have we are now one of the leading hospital in india with the system of medicine now we are exploring the possibilities of uh, expanding our uh, branches and expanding how best we can integrating with the other fraternity of system of medicine also people who are living tamils who are living in other parts of world wherever tamil and indian diaspora is there there we have to be plan to start our branches as well as we plan to uh, do collaborative researches with the other uh, sciences also we are uh, looking for research partners and also we are looking for people who are associate with us to give the siddha wellness centers in various places in the world so these are also we am i'm thinking about uh, that i'm sure um, right um, you know in canada tamil heritage month been declared and they celebrate in january and then very soon in the uk we'll yeah that is one of the major uh, aspirations and agenda of tomorrow's function so once it's been um, you know declared so the, the seeking will start because it's yeah. about the people who yeah, follow yeah. the the culture heritage and and, and the way of life the very and, importantly that uh, next generation the people who are right now between the age of 15 to 25 those people we had to tell the uh, nuances of our tamil culture and siddha medicine all those things because those people are they are in the sandwich uh, time 
they are much influenced with the western uh, way of living at the same time in the home and their uh, their own their father the grandfather grandma are from the traditional system and they are following the traditional uh, lifestyle they are in little confusion whether they have to go with the uh, traditional way where the family is belong to that or where they are exposed in schools and colleges that the entire scenario is different but which is correct which is right if suppose if you give peer pressure in the home that will also spoil the child's uh, issue at the same day if you allow them as per their own when they the time one once when they want to come back they almost lost everything but i, so I think need to, uh, but i think what's happening in london is my experience is that uh these days kids are looking out for better things in sure. terms of oh, organic uh, alternative but the, the 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 problem i think they are facing is there's not much literature and not much yeah there we uh, have to, there uh, is a big gap about there because it's only a few in their language we have to talk in their scientific temperament in their we have to answer for the quest with the proper rationality then they will accept for example if you are giving a korakan idia pom at the same in front of them they have some uh, cereals with uh, some western flakes they will look into both and which is good calorie which is uh, smart carbohydrate yeah. which is a uh, good protein they have the question in their eyes that's right then you have to explain you should not say korakan is good because our grandfather is taking <laughs> if you say they would they will laugh and go we have to tell no see korakan is having rich of uh, rich of calcium rich of iron and that uh, grain itself little the glycemic load is little low when you compare with the rice and if you tell it that way when you soak it with sodhi coconut stew or if you take it with other uh, chambal with onion and coconut all these uh, having onion is having finale compound coconut is having lauric acid if you talk in the scientific temperament then the child will accept yeah oh okay this is good my father grandfather took and the coconut tree is made within in sri lanka and india we had seen lot of so they connect with the road so the need of the hour we need to talk in the scientific language modern scientific language that's why we can win their heart and brain we should we had to try to win their brain <laughs> that is the very important thing so i'm i'm sure that uh, this is kind of a growing uh, aspiration among many tamils sure. across the world and um, i'm sure when these kind of uh, initiatives will actually take to the next level and the british tamil chamber of commerce there might be members who might be interested in yep, yep. you know <laughs> opening up and expanding this so but finally um, the 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 message is just for anyone looking at uh, so what would be the pointing kind of pointers or any kind of literature that you will point at to read more about siddha medicine or siddha um, yeah there are many books i can say but uh, to start with we have to start from asara kovai that is one of the ancient tamil literature about about the food and food practices and food ingredients on those days from that they, there are good many good books with padartha guna sindhamani one of the major collection so are they all in tamil uh, nowadays it's in english also it's in english But also and by uh, original yeah they had uh, started translating in english in tamil nadu the indian system of uh, medicine have separate uh, department of ayush is there government of india and department of indian medicine in tamil nadu they started uh, translating in all the original tamil literature i i can't say all the things they had started uh, Uh, translating and many major books nowadays they translated so to start from the basics is better asara yeah, yeah, kovai yeah, yeah, yeah they can read yeah they start. can read uh, and main thing is uh, if you want to know about the wonders of herbs nearly the padartha guna sindhamani moolige vagupu gunabada moolige nearly 500 600 herbs each herb as uh, how it acts uh, what are the actions of the herb and what taste uh, the herb has the taste and the disease the connectivity taste and the body connectivity so these kind of things they can understand so definitely there are a lot of things to explore people can read <laughs> that's an interesting uh, evening discussion because it's it can go on forever sure. but thank <laughs> thank you for uh, uh, agreeing for this short interview uh, we'll look look forward to have a conversation in the future yeah thank you thanks a lot for uh, giving me an opportunity definitely I can share a little good news as to you. Thank you very much. Just and uh, another the conversation and today we explore about Siddha medicine and um, so Siddha medicine expert uh, Dr. Sivaraman was with us. Um hope you enjoy the show. See you another time. Goodbye.